Hey, what is going on guys? So just want to give you a quick update. I ended up getting another case uh, to protect the camera lens for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. As you guys remember the last video, I did a, a video on another case by the same company called Nilkin and I wasn't so excited about it. It didn't offer as much protection, but I ended up picking up this other one. This is the Camp Shield Armor case. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit more rugged. It's going to have more protection. Uh, and it does cost about 4 or $5 more. I think I paid about $16 on Amazon plus uh, taxes. Now, I've been using this case now for uh, around two weeks. I put it back in the in the case here in the packaging just so you can have an idea on how it should be shipped. Uh, so that way, in case you get some counterfeits or some cases that are not coming directly from Nilkin. Now, getting that to the side, what did I like about this case? Uh, and again, I've been using it for about two weeks now. And... What I like number one was that it does protect the, the camera lens. I have that extra peace of mind that when I put it in my pocket or if I have the phone moving around, I have that extra layer of protection on the camera lens. Also, I did like that this case does add more protection. Now it's not gonna be the best protection you can find, but definitely it's gonna be better compared to the other case that we checked out a, a couple of weeks ago. Getting the phone to fit in there, that was not a problem. This one does fit better. Uh, you tend to you put the top of the phone first and then you just pop the bottom and it will clip right in there. Now, the whole time I had this case on, it stayed on, it was not loose. What I like about it is that it does offer uh, a pretty good protection around it uh, on the bottom lip and the top lip. As you can see, it does cover all the way around it. It's not like that other one that there were some gaps here and there that it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was, uh, the quality wasn't there. Now, this one is more solid. It seems like it's a better quality, so pretty happy with that. Uh, when it comes to the cutouts, um, not much to say there. Uh, cutouts are on point on the bottom. Here on the top, you have the other uh, microphone. The S Pen, this continues to be an issue. Like, it's almost impossible to get the S Pen out with just your, your finger. I mean, I have large hands, so for me, it's hard. So I have to literally use my, my nail to pop it in and out. But other than that, Cutouts are good. Definitely, they could improve on the on the cutout for the S Pen. They, it should be a little bit bigger. The hole should be more user friendly, so you can get your your index finger in there, your thumb, and be able to get the S Pen out. When it comes to the the buttons, this one it is very clickable uh, compared to the other one. This one had no issues uh, out of the out of the box. Pretty responsive power button, Balloon Rockers. Uh, they did a good job on that on that department. As I mentioned, the bottom lip, it's it's not super strong, but it's not so loose as some of the cases that it tends to be an issue after time. So we'll see if time will prevail. This case will prevail over time. Same on the top, cut out for the in call speaker. It's right on point. And let's talk about a little bit about the protection. So you do have some, some lip on the top and on the bottom. So if you happen to drop the phone face down or you just slide it across, it's gonna add a little bit more protection. Uh, not, not it, they could definitely have added a little bit more indentation on the on the top and bottom leaves. Moving on the sides, it's just it's just smooth. You have the Nilkin uh, brand right on the bottom. Also, what I really like is that you do have that extra protection in the corners, on the top, the two corners on the top and on the bottom. Uh, now you do have more of a soft uh, TPU. It's not that that hard shell like we got on the on the last case that it doesn't absorb the impact. So this one is gonna absorb or it's gonna do a better job absorbing the impact if you drop it, adding that extra protection to the phone. The case is mostly composed, so you see on the bot on the back, this is more of a hard shell, and you have this texture design, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then you have these indentations with different different uh, patterns. Uh, this is feels more of a soft TPU, which is it adds that extra protection when you drop it. This will help absorb the impact. And what you see this in, here in the middle now. This at first I wasn't really sure if I was a big fan of it, and I'm kind of liking it after using it for some time now. The main purpose of this is just to serve as a purpose of just being a kickstand, so you can consume content. But uh, this is a nice nice fidget. Just to, while you're holding your phone, you know, I'm always playing with it. So also it allows me just to hold the phone better. Don't worry about just having to have a good grip of the phone all the time. Even if I don't have the actual ring out, if it's just sitting like that, this this allows me, it just gives me something to grip on the phone. Of course, you have the, the big uh, indentation here or the big uh, gap where you, the camera stands out, where the, the sliding door goes. As I already mentioned last time, now this is going to be just a... a 
all plastic sliding door. Uh, it's not as user friendly as the other case, but it's it is easier to it's easy to slide the door open and uh, closing it again. The only thing we have to keep in mind, as I mentioned before, is if you do get these cases, you do not want to be pressing on the metal. And the reason is because after some time, this is just plastic. As you can see, it's gonna start touching the lens. So if you, you put pressure and you slide this open, I mean, I don't know that you can really scratch it or, but you can definitely start putting some marks on the, on the lens and that may impact the quality of your picture. So one thing that I just do is basically I try to use my nail and just try to open it. Of course, uh, my nail tends to touch the lens as well. Uh, it just takes some practice, but if you try to do it on the middle, this is basically is just gonna file your nails. Uh, it's something I'm not a big fan of. But uh, once you get the, the sliding door to click open or click close, it stays there. You don't have to worry about it as if you put it in your pocket that this door is gonna slide open by itself or if, if it's gonna slide open just by a minimum uh, pressure on it. So that's that's good when it comes to the to the protection. Now, how, how comfortable do I feel if I had the, the sliding door closed? If I was to impact the, the lens, I feel like it, it's gonna add a pretty good protection. Like, I don't feel you're gonna be able to puncture through it or or fold or bend this door enough where you can break the, the lens on the phone. I know a lot of people may think this is tacky. Personally, to me, it makes the phone look badass. It makes the phone look look nice and unique. So I definitely am digging it. I like it. And as I mentioned before, if you want to take a picture, if you want to use the, the flash, you always just have to remember that when you turn the camera on, you have to come back here and just slide open the door, which is something that, yeah, it's a, it's a, now you, it's a two-step process. So some people may, may be bothered by that. Now, when you're sliding the door, it is not as smooth as it was with this other case that I uh, we tried before. This one, it was pretty smooth, sliding the door in and out. Uh, now this one, uh, it seems like there's some friction on it. And I don't know if it's just that I got the, a bad case when it comes to this, this feature, but uh, let me know if you have this case and it does that. But again, I mentioned it's not hard to open it and closing it, but if I try to go very slow or gentle, I can feel a little bit of friction, something that I don't feel with this other case. And I know the material is different, so maybe a lot of it has to do with that. As far as taking pictures, the zooming microphone, I haven't noticed a significant impact on the quality, so I don't think you will have issues with that. Now, if you wanna lay the phone flat on the table, this is gonna be an issue for you if you're the type of person that wants to use the S Pen. Uh, or you just want to type on it because it, it, it is going to rock. And the reason is because you have this ring that's going to be on the way and it just doesn't make it very user friendly when it comes to just laying it flat on its back. So, you know, something to keep in mind, if you do want to do wireless charge, you probably don't want to get this case. I mean, number one, the, the, the gap is not going to allow it to stay close to the wireless charger. Number two, you got some metal here that is going to get on the way. Now, if I use just the, the Galaxy watch or one of the active watches that I have, uh, it doesn't pick it up. And if it picks it up, it's it's just for a brief moment. So definitely I would not recommend this case to use a power share or wireless charge. And when, you, when it's time to remove the case, uh, it's not that hard. You usually just snap one of the corners and you get the other one and the phone just pops right out. No issues when it comes to that. Uh, if you wanna see the inside of the case, Again, it's just all like a hard shell, mainly on the back and then on some areas you're gonna have that soft CPU that is gonna uh, allow you or allow the phone to or the case to absorb the, the impact, the shock if you happen to drop it. Uh, something to point out is if you notice you have this ring here which is covered with some padded, there's something padding in there adding some protection. Now I'm assuming, or this, I'm not assuming, this is the actual part of the ring or the screw that comes from the other side that where it's attached. They did add it some protection again, as I mentioned, but as you can see, it's already peeling off. I, well, I was trying to take it off and see what was in there, but you can see there's definitely some, some metal, something to keep in mind. Uh, uh, two weeks using it. I haven't noticed any scratches on the back of the phone or any dents where you may tell me that that's gonna be a problem. Even if I press on it pretty hard on the other side, I don't see this sticking out, but definitely if this comes loose, that may end up damaging the phone. Uh, something that I'm hoping it won't happen. 
but let me know what you guys think about it. And since we're talking about the, the ring now, how good is it? I mean, I already noticed that it's already starting to get scratched on the bottom. So I don't think it's gonna last a long time. As you can already see, it's already starting to peel off right on, on this side here, which it doesn't look too bad, but overall, in this case looks looks pretty pretty nice. I mean, I, I like it, it adds, uh, it adds personality, makes the phone look different, but again, everybody's gonna have a different opinion. And last thing to point out, again, this is just the inside of the sliding door in case you guys want to see it. Uh, as I mentioned, there's no, no metal, nothing attached to it. It's just all plastic. That's how this was, was designed. Well, thank you for watching, guys. And again, if you want to go check out the video of the other uh, similar case that I got with less protection, I'll have a link in the description below. So make sure you check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.